Hello guys, this is Roman on Fire here. Welcome back to another Roblox tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a basic timer system. It's basic scripting where it just has a timer and it has a bar on the top here that shows that has a countdown. And when the countdown goes all the way to zero, it teleports you to the game. And then it'll have another timer for the game and it'll, it will teleport you back to the lobby. So I will show you guys how to build this, how to, it's just basic scripting and it's pretty basic stuff. So I'll show you how to do it. So first we want to go to the workspace and then you want to insert an object and then go and insert an int value and then name this value time, just like that. And then we're just going to go ahead and set this to 15. And so next we're going to go do the uh, starter GUI and we're going to insert a screen GUI inside and in the screen GUI we're going to insert a text label and that's your text label right there this will be the bar that shows the countdown so we're just going to customize it right now we're going to set the font to Arial bold and we're going to set the size to one zero and 0 0.10. Uh, let's try. It's too big. Let's do 0 0.05. Okay, that's good. And then we're going to go ahead and set the set text scaled, and we're also going to we're going to set the stroke color. Actually, no, that's already good. We're going to set the text color to white, and we're going to set the text stroke transparency to zero. And we're also going to set the background to, to 1 for the transparency. And on the text, you're just going to, right here, you're just going to make this blink. Just like that. And then inside this text label, you're going to add a local script. So let's just get that. Uh, there it is. And we're just going to do some basic, we're just going to do a basic while true loop. While true do this is just a little loop and this will make it so it updates when this time goes down it'll update the bar here so we're just going to do while true do script dot parent parent dot text equals game dot workspace dot time dot value and then this is the most important part right here you're going to go ahead and add a weight right here so we're just going to do weight and let's just do 0 0.01 so if you don't have this weight right here basically what will happen is your game will crash as soon as you run it so that would not be good so I'll quickly show you guys how this works so if we click play As you can see, it's updated to 15. And then I'll quickly show you this. So if we change it, if we change it to something like 21, it'll say 21, so it updates. So next, we already have half of this done. Next, what we're gonna do is we want a spot for them to teleport to. So let's say when they wanna teleport to the game, you're gonna add a little part right here, and you wanna name this game. And this is where they will teleport to. You can make it so, like, they, you can turn off can collide so they can just go through it. And you can also make it invisible, but let's not do that. And once you, once you insert that, you're going to also, let's just add a spawn location. Model spawn. So we're just going to add that right there. And then next, you're going to insert a script into the workspace. And let's just add one more thing. Next, we are going to insert an, another int value. So let's just duplicate this and call this one in game, as if, like, are they in the game or not. And then set the value to, to, to zero, just like that. Next, we're going to do some basic scripting in here. This is going to be the part that 
this is going to be the thing that we set the time to. Uh, it's like, I don't know how to describe it, but this will just be the main script, I guess. So first we're going to de define some variables. So let's do local seconds equals game dot workspace dot time. Next, local in game equals game dot workspace dot in game dot value. And then next, local game equals game dot workspace dot game dot position. And then now we're just going to add a while true do. This will be the loop. First we're going to have wait for one second so that it counts down by one second. Next we're going to have seconds dot value so the the this value every second will go down by one equal seconds dot value minus one next we're just going to add an if statement we're going to have two of these so we're going to have if seconds dot value equals equals zero and in game equals equals zero then so we're just going to say that this will when the lobby is over so when the lobby is over we're going to have in game equals one and we're also going to have seconds dot value equals just this part you can have whatever you want so let's say if you want the if you want the game so when the lobby is over and they start the game how long the game will be so let's say you want the game for a minute or maybe you want it for three minutes or maybe 20 seconds let's just do 20 seconds and then Next, we're going to teleport them to the game. So we're just going to do local, local teleport equals game dot players. And then have a colon, get children. And then just have two parentheses there. And then you do four. Oops. For i equals one comma hashtag teleport do and then we're just gonna have teleport and then do that teleport just like that i. dot character colon move to oops then you're just gonna have vector three dot new so it'll take them to a new spot and then you're gonna do game so the name of the part right here will take them to the the x value position of it comma game dot y comma game dot z just like that and then we're just going to have we're going to have two ends right here so let's just kind of organize this better so now that we got that done we'll just add the next one which is if seconds dot value equals equals zero 
and in game equals equals one then so this is just saying when the game is over then you just do in game equals zero and seconds dot value equals now you can change this to whatever you want as well so this is how long the lobby or intermission intermission will be so let's say we want a 15 second intermission and then now we're just gonna respawn them local respawn equals game dot players you know we what we can do is just kind of copy this and then just paste it right here so then we can just do rename this local respawn spawn and then we're just gonna change this to just like that and we're just gonna add a colon and just put load character just like that okay so I think we're almost done let's just add some ends right here and and, and we're missing one so we'll just put that one right there okay and then I think we are done with it so let's test it out and see if it works so we'll go ahead and spawn spawn here we have 15 seconds and uh oh looks like we got a problem so let's quickly fix that so what the problem is let's see everything's good there it looks all good Let's see what part we got wrong. Oh, we just have an extra end right there, so we'll just remove that and then we'll test it up. So now it's counting down. So right now we're in the intermission by the spawn. And then now we're going to teleport to the game when it goes to zero. See, it teleports us to the game. Oh, I think I messed up. Let's see. Let's make sure this is anchored. Let's see if that fixes it. Yes, there's just a little slight issue right there. That's why you have to anchor all your parts so then they don't fly away. So once it goes to zero, we go to the game, which is right here. And then it'll, we're in the game right now. And we just wait for it to go back to zero so then we can go back to the intermission. So let's just wait. And then bam will load just like that and then this will just continue on forever and ever you can of course you can add on to it and like customize it and make it better and stuff so yeah that's that basic tutorial i hope you all enjoyed if you did be sure to like this and also subscribe if you're new and thank you for watching i'll see you later bye